Hey, welcome back, beautiful collective, and thank you so much for joining me here. Let's pull on your energy and see what's going on. Collective visionary. Messengers. Let's see. The little star, my inner child is whole and complete. Moon star, moonstone star, passion. I am entering a portal of euph euphoric love. The morning star, Electra. I shoot for the stars and radiance is my birth right. Father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. And you're claiming your birthright. I am centered. I would the wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. You are balanced. Seven, seven. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits, and fears. It is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take the risk to achieve the life you desire. You're heading out into a new direction. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. 11.11 I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you success, help you succeed, and helping you wake up to who you truly are. The Empress. <laughs> High Priestess, somebody did not want you to see your dreams, your desires, your potential. Somebody tried to block you, did not want you to see your true potential, did not want you receiving these gifts. did not want you to see your value, your self-worth. This is you claiming your inherent birthright. Transformation. Seven. 
success. Taking a leap of faith. This is you manifesting your highest desires, your highest dreams, putting you on your path. You're entering a period of euphoric love. This could be euphoric self-love, love of what you do, loving who you are, receiving these gifts. A new chapter. You're claiming the inherent birthright. You are balanced. Your inner child is whole and healed and complete. You have completed like you are complete. Your inner childhood healing is completed. You now love who you are, you love what you do, this is you finding the truth, your inner truth. This is a victory. This could be you passing all your tests. Your inner child is whole and complete and you are balanced. Wow. Healed and happy and growing. All this What? You're no longer chasing anyone. You're solid. You are celebrating. You have taken your power back. And somebody is angry and stressed out. Somebody thought it was, this is a spontaneous awakening or an awakening. And someone is very bitter and jealous that you have. It's taken you a long time. <clears throat> But you have the victory. Surrendering. This is Father Sky. God. for an awakening. You, to claim your independence. 
Taking leadership. You are leaving all the pain and suffering behind. You're walking away. Fears, insecurities, worries, anxiety, just trusting the universe is going to provide for you. It's like you're entering a new portal. You're entering a new phase of your life where... You've learned your lessons. You're not repeating painful cycles. You've been through the pain. You've been through the painful cycles and it's like now it's like you've been divinely guided toward a new way of being, a new way of thinking, a new way of living, a new way of viewing yourself and the way you view others. It's like you've learned many, many lessons. You've passed the tests. You are now entering a different phase of your life, a different cycle of your life. And it's one of prosperity and success, filled with euphoric love, loving yourself, loving the people around you. Um, forgiveness, perhaps. Forgiving those who have hurt you and letting it go and surrendering it to God and you are just keep moving you're just continue to grow you now are on seeing really what's on the other side of pain I think there's a new person entering your life, but the journey really is about you. I shoot for the stars and radiance is my birthright and you are claiming your birthright. There's a new portal opening up for you. Different 
stages, different levels. Wow. You're balanced, you're wealthy, and I'm not talking about financial wealth. I am talking about spiritually wealthy, having all the love and feeling whole and complete. You are limitless now. You've gained the intelligence, you've gained the directions, you've gained self-esteem, you've claimed your independence, you are not codependent on anybody, anything, you've just surrendered it all. Letting go and letting God be God. Congratulations, the shining star. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Someone was trying to like put your light out, dim your light, make it make you insecure, make you feel like you weren't worthy, make you feel like you weren't good enough. And it would seem to be the choice of your love relationships that you have picked. But those things have all taught you a lesson. And you've learned to not let people put your light out and dim your light. That is your God-given right. To have that light. And I don't think you were too quick to allow people into your life that are going to put that out. That is the great, greatest lesson of all. You know that Spirit's got your back. You know that if God is for you, who could be against you? You're not going to allow someone to come into your light and dim it. Will they profit from it and gain from it? There is no pain that you have not endured. Take care.